I'm Mary Director, and I am an independent Mishi representative. I do have a blog. It's called perfectpurse.createscards.com, and if you would like to purchase any Mishi products from me, you can go to my website, which is marydirector.mishi.com. That information will be uh, posted underneath in the description section of my YouTube video, um, so I, and I will also bring this back at the end of the video. Today we're going to cover a few things. First thing I want to do is cover information about handles. We have so many different types that you can buy so you can switch in and out with your shells. Also I have two Demi shells that are brand new for May and I'm also going to show you a brand new Centura hip bag. First I want to tell you about the interchangeable handles. I actually didn't have them until yesterday. And the interchangeable handles come with a silver chain, a brass chain, or a set of gold um, chains. Now the silver and brass can be purchased together, and when you purchase them, they come with two, two sets of strap, one in a brown which is, which is very textured, one which is in black that's smooth. It is cheaper to buy the black and brown together with the brass and the silver, you get a discount that way, but it's totally up to you. If you wouldn't use the brass or you wouldn't use the silver, you can buy um, those sets separately. Also, the gold chains are sold by themselves. So as long as you have one of our sets of handles or the combination set, you can purchase just the gold chains. The um, interchangeable handles, the double set, is number 9459. Now what I've done is, with these, they come with the one inch carabiner. I leave the one inch on the top, on the part that is going to be attached to the strap, but because on my Dimmy and Prima bags I use the engrammets, I do like the larger carabiner, which is one and a half inches. So my uh, one that's going to attach to the bag, I switch it out. If you're going to hook these into the tabs in your base bag, the one and a half inch works fine. There's no reason to switch it out. Again, it's only because I'm using these in carabiners, um, these in grommets, that I use the larger carabiners. Um, what I'm showing today is the new shell Bianca. I'll tell you all about her in just a minute. But I've put on with her the um, interchangeable handle that's the taupe rope. It is in stock. It's 9459. You only receive this, the set of the two rope handles. You're not going to get the chains. So the chains you already have to have. But look at this beautiful match. It's just great with this um, shell. The other one that looks nice with it is the braided fashion handles. These are um, retired, so you're not going to be able to get them. But if you do already have them and you're interested in this shell, this is how they would look together. It matches in the design. Um, it is a much lighter than the accent uh, faux leather. But totally up to you. Either one would work. Now let me tell you about the shell. Um, what you're going to see, because I use the Demi and the Prima the most, and the Centura hip bags, those are what I usually showcase in my videos. Um, so remember though, so many of them, if they come in one size, that design of shell will also be in our other um, shells also. So just double check, um, you know, whatever size you want to see if it is available. This is Bianca. Bianca is a faux um, snake skin. Totally smooth, not a high gloss to it. It's more of a, a matte flat finish. It has hardware accents. These are um, faux buckles. They've got brads here, accents. Everything is done in silver. No side pockets at all, but there is accent. And then on the back, we have this gorgeous deep pocket that's extremely wide. It's zippered. And then see how deep. It's definitely a deep pocket. I love it. 
I also like the fact that it's a zippered pocket so when your bag is against your body it's secure. Now with these handles, on me this is where they sat. And again these are the interchangeable handles. They do have the larger carabiner so with the shorter carabiner they're going to come up just a little bit, just a half an inch. Okay, so that's the look. This is Bianca number 3171. Next I want to show you is another Dimmy. It's called Marlena. Marlena is a black textured leather, faux leather, silver accents. Again, the faux um, belt buckle. Well, this had belt buckle actually and does. Um, you can unhook it, but there would be no reason to. Um, the other one doesn't unhook at all. This has built accents on the side and then nice deep pockets. Remember with your dimmy shells that there can be a difference in the bottom that um, on the bottoms of the bags they can be narrow or they can be uh, wider. Either way your base bag will still fit. So when you put your base bag in, set it in, make sure you open this bag fully. Put your hand in, open it up, set your base bag inside, and then again, I find that taking the grommets and shaking makes a huge difference. The back of this bag is plain. There's no back pocket. And again, this one's Marlena, number 3169. Now we have a new um, bag called Porsche. Porsche is raspberry, deep red, and poppy. So raspberry, deep red, and poppy. The inside has this wonderful mushroom print, this white, red, orange, and blue. The bag is not zippered inside. It does have hard slots, and there's no other pocket. It is a true snap closure. It's not magnetic, it's a true snap. The back of the bag is the raspberry color, and here's where the handles go on. No pocket, there is a seam across the back. And what I love about this, they've done the large, the, the longer handle again. Um, the bag itself is eight and a quarter inches long by five and three quarters inches wide by one and three quarters inches deep. The belt, this one comes with two belt, two types of straps. It comes with the thicker strap, which is um, considered their shoulder strap. Oh, I'm sorry, I take that back. I, this is the belt strap. This one adjusts from 24 inches to 40 and three quarters inches and it's one and a quarter inches wide. With this open, I can wear this as a, um, you know, like the old fanny packs, um, or you could, you know, wear it at your waist. Um, it's not gonna fit someone, though, that's much larger than I am, um, so you're gonna have to be careful if that's the reason you want it. Um, it if you're a smaller person, it'll fit with no issue. The shoulder strap, which is this strap, is again a long one. They were thinking not only of the average person, but the plus size woman when they created this one. It's 55 inches long, three inches wide, and it has a 25 and three quarter inch handle drop. This one you could wear on your shoulder if you were tall. <laughs> the other thing you could do is if you wanted to wear it as a shoulder, it's just take this and, you know, put a cute knot in it and then put it up. Just, you know, get it to whatever length you want. Um, I wouldn't, for myself, I wouldn't wear it that way. But if you wanted to wear it as a crossbody bag, it's perfect. Even as a plus size woman, this works great for me. I can easily get into the bag, get what I need, and then secure it. The handles, again, hook on the back, and there's just little clips that you open and pull off. The um, waist one, same thing. They're bigger, a you know, bigger clip, but it's just a matter of hooking it on. This wider strap, if you wanted, 
You could do it as a shoulder strap. Um, for me, this would work better over the shoulder than the thin one. But again, it's a personal preference. I love the bright colors. I thought it looked great with what I had on. This type of purse for me is perfect if we're cruising, um, you know, and I need a little purse to have when we're up on deck. If we're going to the park and we're just going to take pictures and I want to be hands-free but need my driver's license and keys, my cell phone, this will work. So that's it for today. I appreciate you stopping by to watch my video. Again, I have a blog. It's called perfectpurse.createscards.com. And if you'd like to purchase any Mishi products, it's marydirector.mishi.com. Thank you so much. Um, I hope you enjoy your day here in Arizona. It's 95 degrees and um, it's definitely warm. We have our ceiling fans in and our air conditioning um, just to keep cool. So anyway, that's it. Thank you so much.